thousand. I need to ask me earlier what the labor would be involved for the township. I asked him to give me um, a fair estimate, and he put it in 140 hours um, for all folks included. Um, averaging the hourly wage for the guys um, at 140 hours, it would be $4,046. At 240 hours, so just creating a range for you there, it would be $6,936. Um, the reason why it's, again, on the agenda this evening versus in May is the time that they have to be doing this work in the month of April and the beginning of May allows this project to get done much more quickly, um, probably during the summer rather than after the summer. Um, if you did want to wait, that's completely fine. We're just looking at an opening time frame of probably later uh, past the summer. Um, so if you were to approve this evening, play would probably happen this summer. If you wanted to wait, um, we're just looking at play being later in the year. Um, with that being said, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys have. Will that increase the price of the uh, cost for the insulation by the rate company? You could. Um, seal Master's quote is good for 60 days. Um, so you could wait until the main meeting and that quote would then still be active. Um, the stone and material costs, Keith, I don't know if you want to speak to that. Yeah, they'll be the same. They'll be the same. Um, any change on equipment rental from your perspective? Yeah, they'll be the same. Okay. Has anybody looked at resurfacing this tennis court back here that rarely gets used by anybody? And converting it to like a pickleball or something else that people are interested in? I don't believe that it was given full consideration. I believe that the Parks and Rec Board did talk about the desire to have the pickleball court at Community Park for the purpose of having foot traffic, um, but it's a fair question. I mean, we have the parking here. We could easily use it because, I mean, we you just explained that we have at least, I forget the number, $8 million worth of work, road work that we need to do to take care of our roads in this township. And that is, these are township roads that have to be maintained because the cost goes way up, as you explained, you know, if they're not properly maintained. So I, I can't I can't support the spending of close to $50,000 on a pickleball court. I mean, it's great if you can, I, I thought we were looking at some grants too, somebody could raise the money here to help pay for this. So um, I know that the Parks and Rec Board has been working to try and raise support from private organizations. Um, and I don't think that in their minds they were trying to have all of that in place before everything was done, but trying to get some type of donation along the signage or something along those lines around the courts. Um, I have also shared it with the county. There's a slight chance that they'll give us a significant portion. Um, I say slight chance because we're competing against projects that other municipalities are offering the County Planning Commission. Um, that county money would be part of Berks County's um, commitment to economic development and their view that there's $250,000 annually that parks are an important piece of economic mm -hmm. development. So it's possible, um, but I wouldn't know that until early May. Yeah, I mean, because you previously gave us a document that, you know, the, of all the inventory of all the roads and that we had a good $3 million to spend on roads that need improvement and needing improvement means that they're just, they're basically not in great condition fairly poor condition in some cases. So again, I mean, the ARCA money is great that we've received. Um, that's not gonna go real far because the numbers that you're showing it at about $700,000 a year to get back to where we should be in maintaining our roads and having good roads for people to drive on, I think that's much more important than um, 